Welcome to my channel, Добро пожаловать! Today I'll be showing you the second method of making delicious Brazilian cheese balls. They are so, so good and I had such an amazing response from my first video. So if you want to watch the first video, the recipe uses different flour and also it's all-in-one method in a blender. This one is actually easier to shape and form them and I actually prefer this version more to the first one because they're smaller and they taste a bit more cheesy, <laughs> even though the cheese amounts are pretty much the same. And so for this recipe you will need the tapioca sour flour and there's different types There is normal tapioca flour or starch. It's the same thing. So if you're confused, I was as well um, And there's just the normal one. So I will be using the sour uh, flour this time and the difference is it's a bit thicker and it's a bit more gooey and also it smells like cheese already, which is kind of handy because we're making cheese balls. So it's completely up to you which recipe you prefer. Uh, I hope you make both of them. They're super easy to make. And if you can't find the tapioca flour or starch, I will leave all the links down below in my description box um, where to find it on Amazon uh, for the UK audience and the US audience. Now I'm not gonna wait too long. Let's get started and enjoy these beautiful cheese balls. In a pot, you're going to add your full fat milk together with water and also add oil. I'm using sunflower oil, but you can also use vegetable oil. Then add salt and we're going to place this onto a stove uh, to heat up. You really want to mix the mixture through and wait till it starts to uh, reach a boiling point. Here I've got my sour starch almidon agrio, I hope I said it right. And you can also use tapioca flour or starch, um, but you need to make sure you use the sour version because this is the recipe with a sour version. And the flour texture is completely different to the other recipe that I made. You then want to add your warm mixture to your flour and you're going to mix it together with your spatula. If you've made my previous uh, <laughs> cheese ball recipe, you've seen that the flour is quite liquid, whereas here it's quite sticky and clumpy. And this flour smells very different. It almost smells like cheese already, so um, I was very excited <laughs> about this. So you want to mix everything through and incorporate your wet mixture together with your flour. And then add your egg and mix everything together one more time, as much as you can. So I really recommend to use a sort of electrical whisk for the next stage. You can also do this by hand, but it's much harder. So then add all your cheeses. I'm using um, Parmigiano cheese. Uh, it's not grated version, so if you can get a grated version, it's much better. But this is the only version I could find, but that's okay, as we're gonna use a hand blender and mix everything together. So just whisk everything for five minutes or so until all the ingredients are incorporated. As some of you know, I have launched my online cooking school where you can learn how to make the most amazing cakes ever. I've got level one, two and three for beginners to advanced and you'll be able to learn the beautiful mousse cakes. You can also do this as a gift for somebody who loves cooking and baking. I think it's an awesome present. And of course, if you wanted to learn yourself, each course has over 20 to 40 video lessons in there where I teach you all the skills, different cakes and unique designs. We also have a Facebook community group for all the bakers that join my course and you will have my unlimited support throughout teaching and learning. I really hope to see you in my online cooking school and if you have any more questions, then leave the comments down below. Next, take your mini muffin pan uh, or a cupcake pan, spray it with some cooking oil. You can also use a regular pan, but there will be like a bigger cheese balls. I'm using a glove here and I'm spraying it also with some cooking spray just so it doesn't stick to my hand. You might want to mix the mixture as well with your hands so it's nice and even. And then take a little ball, squeeze it into your hands and press it down into your muffin pan. 
I know that you can also do round balls if you don't have a muffin pan you can just make them into round balls and cook them on the parchment paper so it's completely up to you what shape you want them to be it's just it's much easier to measure out how many you're gonna have by using the pan so just mix it all evenly and tuck it all in <laughs> oh my gosh guys this dish is so good I also love to add some grated uh, sort of uh, older parmesan on top you can use any other cheese but I do think that adding extra cheese on top of the cheese balls makes it super delicious so I highly recommend that <laughs> so we're gonna bake these until they're golden brown for about 20 to 25 minutes and there you go guys look at these just amazing they look so fantastic they have crisped on the top they have being crispy at the bottom and they're so gooey inside I'm just gonna show you the cheese pull this is what you're coming for for the cheese pull it's so good I ate so many of these I couldn't stop uh, it's not good for my diet but they are so addictive make sure you have friends around when you cook these otherwise I can guarantee you're gonna eat the whole lot honestly they're so delicious <laughs> I hope you make this recipe guys, uh, just one last cheese pull because I know you love it and I can't wait to see your versions on my Instagram and Facebook.